When I got here from Okinawa last night, and I came across some posters like this in Tokyo. It seems the number of hackathons and business contests for teens is increasing. They are becoming very popular, but a little overrated. Isn't it awesome though that there are more and more opportunities for teens to challenge themselves? Well, I'd like to share a message with other high school students embracing these challenges today. You may know more about social issues, programming, making presentations. These are huge advantages because these are things that you can do well that others can't. Your parents, friends, all the adults around you will praise you. Looking at high school entrepreneurs featured in the media, you will begin to think, but their work isn't so amazing. I could do something even better. You will end up writing, I will start my own successful business by the end of this year, as your new Twitter bio. Most people ask me, I want to start a company, but I don't know what to do. I reply with, why do you want to start a company? Most of, most of them say, hmm, I'm thinking of making a product that produced by us students, but they don't elaborate. It sounds like they are not sure what they want to do. These are common debate or not. Making a company is a tool to solve a problem. Most have the order wrong. They want to start a company and then they look for a problem to solve. It's definitely the other way around. In my opinion, it's find a problem and build a company to solve the problem. Some venture capitalists love the phrase, just start a company, start one now. The VC word they push is mesmerizing. It's a word dripping with energy for startups. It's a word captivating especially to students who wants to start a business. It's hypnotizing. Venture capitalists preach, we need a Silicon Valley in Japan by importing their ecosystem. They try to build this by gathering high-minded people together through exciting one-off events. And then they push students to use high schooler brand to crowdfund. The real question here is, what comes out of these events? What do they actually achieve? I was born and have spent whole life in Okinawa. Okinawa is a small region with many islands. In Okinawa and other countryside in Japan, the so-called best career is conventional jobs, like government employee, teachers, doctors, and so on. Most parents free really expect their children to go to a good university and then get a good job that will guarantee a good life. But I told, is that all? Is simply following this typical path really good? I don't elaborate, I don't look down on those jobs. Brother, I appreciate them. But don't you think having no choice is such a pity? You may know 
you have other choice. But the future of those jobs isn't clear. They, they don't. They will take you. And it's risky and scary. Role models in non-typical jobs can encourage students to realize that, wow, even as Okinawan, I can do that. That's what my company does. Making a company is a lot easier than you think. All that's needed is to write about 10 documents. articles of incorporation, and apply for organization registration. In my case, all I have to do was write about my personal information, the name and purpose of my company. That's it. It was so simple that thanks to the generous, generous support from my shareholder. The day my company started, I hid with my cell phone in a restroom stall in my school. And even though my school doesn't allow us to bring cell phones, <laughs> I suddenly became the president and CEO. I was approached more than 20 TV and newspaper companies. The headline, uh, JK starts a company, really attracts public, public attention. In Japanese, JK stands for Joshi Kosei, which means high school girl. Nikkei even put me on their front page, but I hadn't done anything yet. I was happy to be in the media, but their focus was on me being this JK. I lost the sight of my goal, and I wondered, why did I start? What am I doing this for? With all thinking about, I realized that I need to grow my company, but I faced a harsh reality. Adults can be tolerant about business manner, but not with the core business aspect, money. Each time I would go to a pitch, they would say with a smile, I'm really looking forward to your presentation. But afterwards, they seemed disappointed and avoided talking about money. They would say, hmm, I wish you good luck and thank our providing our support. I know they didn't really mean it. I was pressured to leave and that was it. I lost confidence and was struggling to launch the service I originally planned. I was impatient to achieve something with my company. I was really frustrated with myself. Everything going on with all these pressures, one day I found myself not being able to even get up and I couldn't stop crying. I argued with my parents for no reason. Exams were approaching. It was almost too much to handle. Nothing. I, I almost wanted to break my personal icon, these round glasses. 
Nothing is worse than feeling pressure from society when you lose sight of goal. Everyone said, I could give up or take a break. But I still felt a lot of pressure to investment I got. I couldn't give up. But one day, I changed my mind on things. It was after I gave a talk at university in Mie Prefecture. A lady asked me how she should deal with her stay-at-home son. I was at a loss of four hours because, you know, it was the most serious question I have ever been asked. My friends usually ask me which boy they should date because both of them are cute. After I spoke with her more, I learned that she was a single mother and raising her son who was in middle school. He attended to a well-known school and he had a great grace. But after a half year, he started only to play video games. His grades went down and he stopped going to school altogether. She has no idea how to approach this situation. She was concerned about the typical way of life that I mentioned before. Good school, good job, good life. Her way of thinking is focused on separating her son from the games. But my suggestion was, how about opening your minds to other possibilities? Your son has other possibilities, include that her obvious passion and interest, like becoming a professional gamer and participating in gaming World Cup. It seems that she wants to keep discussing this, but we hadn't any time. This interaction lingered in my mind. Whether I, I wondered how it went and whether I should contact her. But she actually texted me first and said, I told my son the advice you gave me and his eyes shining again. He has already found many tournaments he wants to join. It was you who told me that not to force my dreams onto him. I'm really grateful. At that moment, my goal came back to me to providing middle and high school students with diverse role models. I felt I could breathe freely again. I realized that I was on my way to achieving my goal. Everything I share today has shaped who I am now. I am connecting people who lead unique lives to students in Okinawa through my career program. You may successfully start a business without your career vision. You may find your career vision after you start a company. But passion in your vision will give you strength every day. Passion in your vision can carry you through the hard times. I want you to find the passion in your vision.
Thank you for your wonderful talk. え日本語でも大丈夫です。日本語でお願いします。<笑>えっと確認なんですけど、中田さん今高校2年生です。高校2年生で、生ですこの会社を作ったのはいつですか？えっと15歳です。去年えっと去年の5月25日に作ってギリギリ15歳で。あの本当に話聞いてでも素晴らしいと思ったんですが、今ね中学校高校の生徒たちが。ロールモデルとしてねトークの中でもあったけどいい学校に行っていい仕事に就く以外のやっぱりロールモデルってみんな求めてると思うんだけどそれに気づいたのが改めて気づいたのがその男の子ゲームばっかりやと男の子と出会ったってことだったんですかえっとその元から私は沖縄に住んでいて、うんうん、あのそのやっぱり地方って職業があまりないからそのまあ、いいキャリアっていうのはそういういい大学に行っていい仕事に就いて、まあ、いい生活を送るっていうのがそうっていうのがいいと考えられているんですけどでそれをなんかそれって本当にいいのかなって思って私はまあ起業したんですけどで、まあ、メディアとかに出るうちになんかすごくなんか自分を見失うようになってしまってメディアってそういうとこあるからね、はい、<笑>だけど今戻ってきたのあのそのメディアに押しつぶされそうになって、うん、もう起き上がれなくなっちゃったりしたんですけど<笑>日系の一面になったの日系の一面に乗ってしまってでも何もしてなくてでなんで私起業したんだろうって,っておそらくこの会場にいるのでいる人で日系の一面に乗ったことあるの君だけかもしれない<笑>それはすごいことですそれは一つのアチーブメントだと思うんですけどもで今でも原点に戻って今ははっきりと目標が見えるんですね、はい、夢って何ですかこういうことは成し遂げたいとかイメージありますなんだろう今は沖縄の中高生の選択肢を広げるっていうことをやってるんですけど、うん、なんかパーツに分けて考えてみたときになんか私は沖縄のことがやりたいとか中高生のことがやりたいのか選択肢を広げることがやりたいとかって考えたときに、はいはいまあ、選択肢を広げることがやりたいかなと思っていて、まあ、どういう形になるかわからないですけどそういうのやっていけたらいいなと思ってます、うん、ひょっとしたら大人のロールモデルも提示してほしいかも、ね、大人たちは。ど,どういういのを求めてるんですか<笑>おそらく日本の大人たちもロールモデルで迷ってる方が大変多いと思うんで、うん、そうですね私が二十歳になったら考えようと思います<笑><笑>すごい中田さんでしたありがとうございました<笑>